Hi, I'm Jacob Holberg. Hi, I'm Chandler Samuels, and today we're going to do our quiz three questions. It's currently uh, November 16th, and we're in the Engineering Center. So, um, first question is, when asked to, by my boss to use an AI system to select job candidates, I can explain to the boss why there may be some bias. Jake, do you want to take this one? Sure. So, when using an AI system to select job candidates, the designer of the AI may have negatively associated specific traits of selection with a specific racial or socioeconomic demographic. So, um, all this, and all, furthermore, all this data is reported to the AI, and a failure to accurately report this data could mean, again, that you lose some viable portion of candidates that the, the boss wants. And lastly, um, the boss needs to have full, complete trust in the AI because the person who developed the AI uh, needs to match the needs of the boss in terms of what pool of candidates they want to select from and what certain traits they're looking for. So now we're going to move on to question two, which is, suppose I'm asked by a local coffee shop to design a physical kiosk to place in the parking lot outside the for ordering coffee. The kiosk has a large screen display various coffee items. A customer can point at an item to choose what to order. I can describe a solution based on direct pointing. I can describe a solution based on indirect pointing. Sure. So uh, direct pointing is an example of a, like a touch screen where a user can actually go in and uh, physically touch the items that they want to select when ordering food. An indirect pointing system might be like using a mouse or a, or a, or a trackpad or a key, um, a series of keys to click and choose the selection. So that would be indirect. Um, okay. So that leads us to question three. Given a two-level hierarchy of elements defined as Gestalt principle, um, Jake's going to explain that. We have a little diagram here, too. Sure. So for this one in particular, we have these nodes in level one. We have these parent nodes, A, B, and C. Although the certain, currently right now they're separated, we're not actually caring about the separation because we're not caring about the proximity, which is the relationship between two different sets of information, the distance between those two. So in this case, in terms of similarity, only look at the killers, and we can, we can find that a is red, B and C are blue, which denotes that A is separate from B and C, and B and C are together in some sort of group. Um, for level two, we have all the child nodes, A, B, A, one, two, A, one, two, three, um, B, one, two, three, and C, one, C, two. So for level two, we were asked to use proximity to explain the, to explain the nodes, and proximity is the elements that are physically close together. Or phys elements that are physically close are perceived as the same object. So you, you can see here that all these elements are close together in terms of B and C, and then the um, nodes for child nodes for A are all far apart in terms in relation to these nodes. Um, so now we can move on to um, the, where we pick one of the questions out of the three available questions. And the question we chose was, I can name three cases when a blind individual may need visual assistance. So Sure. Um, so the three cases that we came up with is, first, when a blind person is, needs to read something on a tablet, um, they can use a voice assistant that will actually read off what's actually on the screen or on like a book. Um, they, they have braille on signs and stuff, so that's more of a physical um, assistance. Then when they're crossing a road, modern crosswalks alert a blind individual with sound or etching on the road to denote paths to follow. Um, and then the last one is finding specific outfits for an event. Um, for example, there's a program that we discussed in class that allows a blind user to post photos of their outfits. Other non-blind users would then give suggestions whether or not the clothing was sufficient for the occasion. Um, we'll also denote maybe if their ties inside out, etc. So that concludes our quiz three. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Mm -hmm.